Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I'm going to go ahead and do the bonus reading for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo or a Sagittarius. Now this is a general message. It may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who reach out for those and thank you to those who donate to the channel and to those of you who have subscribed okay all right let's jump into this my virgos dealing with a fire sign so you guys got the bonus reading again so again i appreciate those of you who come through and view that thumbs it up comment on the um video i'm sure the next bonus reading will go to you guys as well so what do we have for my virgos that are dealing with a fire sign thank you spirit aries leo sagittarius Cross watcher, if you are in here and you're dealing with a Virgo, feel free to flip the roles, okay? Other than that, I do hope that everybody is well. All right, Spirit, what is the energy here? Give me a card for now and a card for going forward. My Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign. So the two cards I'm seeing here, it says decisions, but you also have discernment. You're going to have to use your discernment about something here, Virgos, when it comes to this person. Or maybe they are using their discernment. Maybe about letting something go. It's almost like someone here... Hmm, okay. Where's my keeper cards? What is this for the collective? Thank you, Stroke. What is the decisions card? Why is it here? What is this energy? Oh, previous lady came in the reverse. Okay. I don't usually take these in the reverse. Show me more. Occupation. For some of you, I don't know if you work with this fire sign or maybe even live with this fire sign here. Um, oh, we have house and then we have false person. So I don't know if there's some lies that is being told. Like I said, I don't know if you live with someone here. Yeah, definitely someone here. There's, there, I don't know if someone doesn't want something to come out or somebody doesn't want someone to say something. False person in a house. What is this spirit? <sighs> Look at this as I part the deck. The magician and the devil. Definitely the energy of dark magic here. Low vibration or somebody trying to manipulate or control a situation or a person. Um, damn, could be you Virgos, Queen of Pentacles. You know, I don't know if someone here was, for number one, I feel like someone here was trying to affect your finances. But again, with that devil energy, I don't know if someone here was trying to keep you stuck, keep you bound to them. Privileged lady in the reverse. Let me just see. <clears throat> if it gives a explanation for reverses in this book privileged lady mm. hold on Virgos okay I'm back <laughs> now whether it's male or female here whether it's you or the fire sign, it looks like someone here may be experiencing some sort of lack. I, you know, because when you think of the privileged lady in the upright, you think of a wealthy person. 
you know, someone who may be financially secure, you know, they may have, you know, luxury things around them, right? Items, cars, home, whatever. This makes me feel like someone here is losing a lot, okay? And it could be down to the decisions that they made here. Bad decisions, bad choices, bad plans, bad, bad investments, right? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> yes, thank you, Spirit. You have the hanged man, which is Pisces energy. But the hanged man talks about somebody or the universe putting somebody almost in a timeout. You stand over there or you sit over there. Or we're going to put everything on pause for you so you can think about what it is that you did. Or you can think about the decisions that you are making. It's almost like this energy of somebody not having gratitude or being grateful. The tower. Oh, and then we have the temperance and the full card. You know, someone here may have took some... Yeah, there we go. The ace of wands with the seven of swords. Someone here may have took some sort of action here. Someone may be feeling foolish. Or someone did something, I almost want to say, without thinking of the consequences. I don't know if someone here tried to attack a divine being with the temperance out here. Hmm. All right, show me more. What is this privileged lady in the reverse with the decisions? So my Virgos are dealing with a fire sign. Thank you, spirit. Look at that. It came straight out the devil. Someone who is toxic. Someone who is low vibrational. Someone who may have some sort of addiction. Someone who may be codependent. And the moon card. Ooh. What is this devil energy? Ooh, almost coming out sideways. Some sort of practitioner, some sort of um, cult leader, something like that with the hierophant coming out here. Now, this could also just be saying to me here, Virgos, maybe this is somebody that you lie with. Maybe somebody you're married to. Oh, I just heard my birds. This marriage energy has been coming out a lot. Four of swords, six of cups, six of wands with the four of pentacles. See, someone here got some sort of warnings here to lay something to rest. Now, this could have been in the past, right? Maybe somebody's just receiving their karma now. But someone here it looks like maybe in the past. I don't know if they were... I hope this... Because I just saw the death card. I don't know if this was like a death spell. My head just kind of span when I said that. Um, I don't know if this was some sort of death spell or, like I said, someone was just trying to lay something to rest for someone. You know, someone here may have been celebrating in the past, right? Six of Wands. Now, this could also be that someone's trying to affect someone's victory. So, like I said, Virgos, male or female, maybe you are this privileged person. Maybe somebody wanted you in the reverse. Maybe somebody here was trying to stop you from getting to some sort of goal. Six of Swords. This is moving to karma waters. Maybe this is someone who was mad that you left them behind. Somebody crying over spilt milk. For some of you, this may be an Aries with the emperor. Or this was just somebody who was trying to overdo their control. Eight of swords. Now someone here is in some sort of a mental prison because of some sort of decisions that they made. Someone here was warned. To stay away from you, Virgos. Nine of Pentacles energy. Moon, King of Swords, the Death card, King of Wands. This could even have been more than one person. Maybe a couple people working together. Maybe more than two people. For some of you, maybe this is just a fire sign that thought they were smart. A fire sign that is a liar. This King of Swords has his sword down. I'm also hearing for some of you... I feel like there's someone here that may know something, but maybe they just ain't speaking up or communicating about what this is. Show me more about the devil and the hierophant. Why is this privileged lady in the reverse? Knight of Pentacles. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting someone here was obsessed about slowing you down. 
Now, whether it's just slowing down your finances, like I said, if you have some sort of business or something like that, that you are growing, that you have grown by yourself with that nine of pentacles energy, self-sufficient, independent. Show me more, the Hierophant. I see the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. For some of you, this may even be family members or somebody just didn't want you to be in a happy space. Ten of Cups talks about emotionally fulfilled. Show me more. The Seven of Swords came right back out. Spirit, clarify the devil and the Knight of Coins. Seven of Wands, I love to see it. Protection. For some of you, you may have known that you are being attacked here, Virgo. In some shape or form. And maybe you stood your ground. Right? With that seven of wands. For some of you. I don't know if you have Leo in your chart. It's almost like the sun behind her is standing out to me. But this is also your ancestors and your angels saying. That devil energy is not welcome over here. It's also she seems like she's holding that ace of wands. Even though it's a seven of wands. If this is a business or something like that. Some kind of... Um, brand new um, adventure or whatever, right? It's protected here. Some of you may receive a lot of messages from birds or things like that. Yeah, look at this, the Ten of Wands. Something here was too difficult. Someone bit off more than they could chew here. What is the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords? And you know what? This is also the kind of image that it's given me that whoever this is that um, does things behind the scenes, right? Throws stones and hides their hands. It's almost like this is someone who likes to be seen as, a, 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 um, how would you say it? Like a good person in the eyes of other people. But really behind closed doors, this is someone who is a thief, a liar, a cheat. Hierophant and the Seven of Swords, Ten of Cups. Hmm. For some of you, this may even be somebody you have a family with. Like I said, for some of you, this may be somebody in your family. Wow, for some of you, some of you maybe somebody you're married to, four of wands. I'm also getting this energy here that someone's going to find out that maybe somebody got married for money. Oh, for what they could get out of a situation. Clarify this Ten of Cups. With the Hierophant and Seven of Swords. Oh, coming out sideways. Queen of Swords. So that's Aquarius, Libra and Gemini energy. The blockage here for someone is the truth. It's almost like, I, I don't know if someone, like I said, is stuck. Things maybe ain't moving forward for them. And I feel like it's because... The universe is waiting for someone. Hey, speak up. Tell the truth. And again, I feel like for some of you, this is someone who did or is doing all of this because um, maybe you cut them out. You know, the Queen of Swords is someone who is not afraid to cut people, places and things out of her life if it's not serving her. The strength and the temperance. So what is this discernment and occupation for my Virgos that are dealing with a fire sign? Thank you, Spirit. Show me. Three of Pentacles. I'm telling you, it keeps wanting to land on that Ten of Cups. So maybe this is a family that is working against you here, Virgos. Three of Pentacles. You know, look at that. Trying to disturb something that you're trying to build here. Maybe this is someone who wants to work with you. What is this Three of Pentacles? The Five of Cups. Somebody crying over spilt milk. So show me more. The Six of Cups. Show me more. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. 
You see, if you are building something here now, Virgos, for yourself and it's growing here, right? It's definitely going to be something that you put a lot of love into here. Maybe some of you, you know, you just, wow. Okay, Ace of um, Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, see, I told you, you know, you had the chariot in the reverse and everything is in the upright. Someone didn't want you to move forward for some of you in love. For some of you, this is someone who didn't want you to find self-love. They didn't want opportunities to come towards you here. But look what's right behind the chariot. Oh, wow. Look what's right behind the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> the Ace of Wands. Three aces with the Wheel of Fortune. Someone can't stop this for you because it's your destiny. Because it's fated to happen for you. For some of you, whatever this is, is you're on your divine path. For some of you, you're receiving this because you ain't afraid to take a leap of faith. Or someone here is feeling foolish. Yeah, somebody's definitely receiving karma. Queen of Swords, you have the justice with the Five of Wands. Conflict, drama, chaos, jealousy. See, karma is really, I uh, feel like, whooping someone's booty. And now they're kind of looking back, or they are going to be looking back and, you know, thinking to themselves, you know what? Those choices I made, was it worth it? What is the three of pentacles and the six of cups? The hanged man. Something that somebody did in the past. Like I said, it could even be three people working together here. It's got somebody stuck or it's got somebody in this energy where, do you know what? Hey, I, I really need to look at things from a different perspective. You know, what I did here didn't get me anywhere. So going forward, I need to make better choices. Hmm. I see the King of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. I feel like in the future, what is this Three of Wands? I feel like some of you are going to be ending up working with somebody that maybe you're going to be in a relationship with. Um, maybe you do now. The Hermit, yeah. Okay. That was random. <laughs> What is the uh, Five of Cups and the Page of Coins? Thank you, Spirit. Oh. And then there's going to be someone here who's going to be sitting on the side that wants to be with you. Like I said, the Two of Cups can be a partnership as well. Or maybe, like I said, that wants to work with you. But something they did here, some sort of choice that they made. Some of her goes, you know, this option isn't available to them anymore. Spirit says no. Two of cups in the reverse. Yeah, spirit says no. The world card at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> All right, spirit. Clarify. Clarify this devil energy with the seven of swords. We have separation and longing. So again, this energy of somebody just doing way too much when really they should have just been their authentic self. I feel like Virgos, you upset somebody when you left, when you found that inner strength to go in a different direction. Show me more about this devil and seven of swords. For some of you, someone here may even have lied about a family situation, maybe lied about being married. Show me more. <laughs> all right spirit <laughs> give me some more cards so what is this devil and seven of swords decisions yeah look at that we've got decisions twice some decisions that someone made here has left them out in the cold and for some of you this may have been some sort of a twin flame or you may be dealing with a soulmate but it's almost like this union energy uh, i'm hearing walk on by <laughs> Yeah, rejection, loss, and fragmented. Told you someone here is butthurt. 
But spirits has kind of put them in this situation where they said, well, why are you but hurt? You made the choices. One more. Thank you. You have remember an awakening. It just makes me feel like this hangman energy. Now somebody maybe see something from a different perspective here. Um, now Virgo, it could also be that, you know, you maybe you was the one that awakened in this situation. Give me one on this awakening. Why is the remember an awakening here? It's almost, <laughs> it's almost like this energy of maybe this fire sign had some sort of awakening and, and they realized what this connection was or they realized who you was to them. And now they want to reach out to you. Look at that. Regret. Repression. So they have regrets here, but, you know, they may not be expressing that. But it's almost like they want to reach out to you. Remember an awakening. Why is it here? Yeah, masculine energy. And I always say in this deck, you know, this person, they have, you know, that you're this, I was going to say, <laughs> okay, whoa, <laughs> this masculine, um, you know, maybe they work out here or something like that. But you see how he has his hood over his head. It's almost like this energy of, yeah, it feels like embarrassment, but it, it does feel like shame and regret here. Almost like someone here doesn't want to show their face. It's almost like I'm hearing you not, you not who you say you are. You're not who you say you are. So give me some cards for this situation. What is the two of cups in the reverse? Actually, first spirit, show me what the three of pentacles is and the six of cups. Oh, there it goes. Yep. Ooh. So I wanted to come in the reverse. It's the tower. It says storm and unexpected, but it's in the reverse. It almost makes me feel like this tower is here now. Show me more. Three of pencils or someone didn't know that uh, whatever deal they was doing here, whatever they were doing, they didn't know that it, there was going to be some sort of, um, how would you say it, some sort of repercussion, some sort of consequence. Show me more. Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Yeah. Control and tactics. Someone wanted power over a situation. Somebody wanted power over you. Somebody wanted power over um your, you know, whatever direction you go in or what comes towards you here, Virgo. And I, I, this is weird because it almost makes me feel like someone here was trying to play God. Show me more. You have receive and open. And we have remember and awakening over there. So it, it just really feels like for some of you, it just feels like, for, um, you know, this is just someone who really wanted to be with you or they really want you in their life or they really want to be friends with you or they really want to work with you here. It just feels like somebody that just wants to be in your energy, but they did the most here. It almost feels like somebody that was trying to get revenge for you refusing them, for you having some sort of awakening, for you having some sort of breakthrough when it comes to your finances, your workspace, could even just be your peace of mind. Yeah, for you being free because you wouldn't deal with their lies, their deception. Someone who was vibrating from an ego and pride space give me it's all <laughs> it makes me feel like how do you put this into words someone who feels like they're the shit right you can't tell them nothing you can't this you can't that and, and it's almost like uh <laughs> oh i don't know how to put it into words it's almost like spirit just came along and said um actually no you're not all of those things sit down there 
And we're, I'm going to show you that, you know, all of these things and we'll start taking away the things that you love. In fact, for some of them, you know, what I'm going to reflect the energy onto you that you wanted to reflect onto the Virgo. And it's also like this person is in a state of um, despair. Show me more. Show me one more. <laughs> You have the action card at the bottom of the deck, Courage and Jupiter. So whatever this person did, you know, they felt confident when they were doing it. They just didn't know that they were in an illusion here. For some of you, they may have wanted to cause you some sort of illusion or confusion. But look at the last card to come out. Karma, Balance and Justice. It's almost like the universe saying, no, 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 hold on. Let me show you how you really do this. And now this person is regretful. Now this person is upset. Now this person is crying over spilt milk. Now this person is confused about the things that are happening around them. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Virgo's dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Give me three cards. Oh, thank you. Yeah, look at that. Now it's time to be brave. Now it's time for someone to speak up. So, the, I told you. So we have voodoo in blue. It says back off. Spirit ain't playing here when it comes to all this kind of, you know, dark stuff or this black magic. And, oh, someone may have died from a situation or someone may die from a situation. You have transitioned to the spirit realm. Or I said to you guys, for some of you, I don't know if this person wished death on you. You have healing from heartache, yeah. Now this person's going to sit back and mend a broken heart. Show me more, Spirit. Give me three cards. Virgo's in your fire sign. Thank you. So you have you're the shit, and it says don't forget it. So some of you may be in the public eye somehow because of this star on this card. It's making me feel of, think of the star card. So maybe some of you have some sort of platform. Maybe some of you are healers, you know. Show me more. You have fuck, shit is about to get real. It says fuck, you need your people around you. So again, you know, whatever the universe is putting this person through, right? Karma, the tower. It's almost like they're, they're putting them in a space of isolation. Now this person needs help. For some of you, now this person needs your help. The spirit said, I know you fucking lying. <laughs> Give me a card. Thank you. Yeah, you have get the fuck out of your head. It says get in your heart. It misses you. So this is someone, you know, it almost feels like emotionally detached. Says you're a hot mess. Fact, clean yourself up. You look like a shit show. So I don't know. Maybe somebody ain't doing too well. Yeah, at the top you have you need a big fucking hug. It says squeeze. <laughs> I'm telling you, this person needs you for some of you. The spirit's trying to teach this person a lesson. You understand now how the universal law works. This may be someone who was more religious than spiritual. But even then, you're supposed to know, hey, right is right, wrong is wrong. You can't walk out here in the daytime walking around like you a holy person. You somebody who walking upright. And then behind doors you're in this energy the seven of swords whether you're calling on the name of god or whoever the most high surely you would know that the heavens are looking down so isn't that even more of a disrespect to the universe Yeah, at the bottom of the deck. Oh, what is that? 
the phoenix. Oh, this may be someone who has addictions or just has some sort of obsessive energy. Well, the devil is there, right? This may even be someone who has some kind of demons on them. Lightning, it says sudden change, shocking news. It says surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah. And all of this is, you know, so spirit is saying to this person, the universe is saying to this person, hey, we're only putting you through this tower so that you can learn something, can do better. You can go forward and make better choices. Because what did you get out of making this choice? Yeah, the phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Also, this person can grow. Show me more. Two more cards. Virgo, Zoom, Will, Fire, Sun, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, there we go. Healthy choices. Making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, being happier. One more. One more. Thank you, Spirit. My Virgos are dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, or a Sag. The butterfly it came out anyway. It says relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child growth. You know, so this may be someone who has some childhood trauma. But Spirit says walking around and, you know, hurting other people. That doesn't solve anything. This is someone who needs some healing. Damn. Okay. What would this person say to you, my Virgos? Three cards. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. Thank you. So the first one here, it says, I wish I could share my good news with you. You have, I love you. And then we have, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I don't know. So let's end out with three of these love cards. And that is the energy that I picked up here today. I am seeing only time will tell. Give me three cards. My well, Virgo's in a little fire sign. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Oh, yeah, look at that. In the reverse. Landing on the devil. Oh, the healing in reverse. We'll see what it says in a minute. Someone here isn't healed. Show me more. Thank you. So, healing in the reverse. It says healing. It says imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Like I said, it was in the reverse. It landed on the devil. Someone here may be in a dark place. Like I said, I'm hearing dark attachments. So, I mean, and that could be, um, you know, something that someone's addicted to, right? If someone does have an addiction, it makes me feel like it's affecting their finances. So this could be quite a heavy addiction here. You have criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are and your relationship will magically transform. And then you have look inside yourself, which was also in the reverse. So this is also someone who is not willing to recognize the mistakes in them, right? Like I said, this energy of you can't tell this person nothing. They know what they're doing. They know they're right. And it's, you know, it feels very egotistical um, and very stubborn, right? Some of you may be dealing with a narcissist, but it doesn't have to be. It says, look inside yourself. It says, examine what is causing you to feel this way. And then you have, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. So this may be someone who needs to go through, or it probably is going through the dark night of the soul, right? Hmm. 
this feels like someone who's fighting against the grain. It's almost like, you know, I don't know. So let's end with one love and light. Thank you. Wow, that was quick. <laughs> it says, be the powerful presence of peace. It says, give all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. So Virgos, Crosswatcher, that is what I have for you today if you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Guys, if this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light, Virgos.